Hello everyone, Pixelip here, free brand, new episode of the Pixelmon Zoo! Today we have a very, very, very special episode, so stuff is finally getting back to normal in the zoo, but then some crazy evolutions kind of set that off. You guys will see exactly what I mean in the episode. Anyways, so yeah, um, hope you guys do enjoy this episode. Remember that every 200 likes we get is an extra Pokemon in the zoo. Um, so for example, if we get 600 likes, which we did um, a few episodes ago or two episodes ago, we get free new Pokemon in the zoo, which we do get today. Awesome. So yeah, of course, comment down below your suggestions and your in-game name, your Minecraft username, um, if you want to be featured in the episode. Today, there are about eight people who are in this episode, but there'll be more next time. So you will have a high chance of getting featured. Just comment your name. There's nothing else. Your IGN, your in-game name. There's nothing else you need to do. And of course, leave a like. Anyways, if you are new to my channel, please do subscribe for daily Pixelmon content. And finally, I just want to thank you guys so, so much for 14,000 subscribers. The subscribers are counts are going crazy. You guys are awesome. I can't thank you guys enough. Anyways, so yeah, I think that's enough talking about this. Let's get right into talking about the zoo. Was a good night's sleep. Time for a brand new day at the zoo. Okay, I'm feeling kind of warmed up and uh, a lot happier that we resolved the um, Team AZ Mega Evolution thingy jigger. I don't know what it really was. It was kind of all over the place. It was kind of crazy, but we came out of it fine and everything is back to normal. The zoo is back. So, uh, what? What is? Why? Why is there a? tree in our parking lot uh okay <laughs> i guess i'm gonna have to talk to scotch about that anyways let's route up all our zoo helpers we got to beldum who's our newest team or yeah newest team member we'll call him that then we have fampy where where was hoodoot again where was hoodoot hoodoot was like in this thing wasn't it hoot hoot hello pidgeot you're cool um pidgeot can we wait <gasps> Pidgeot! Oh, okay, P we can make Pidgeot follow us. That's cool. I'm hiring you, Pidgeot. You're following us now. That is very, very cool. Is she following us? I don't know. Following, okay. Well, we gotta be able to find Hoodoo, so I'm just gonna walk a little bit away. Then we can kind of see whether Hoodoo will follow us. Hoodoo! Hoot, where, where's Hoodoo? What? Okay. Well, that's gonna need to be fixed. We're gonna need to find Hoodoo, guys. No idea how we're going to do that, but Hoot Hoot must be around somewhere. Hmm, she was here before. Hoot Hoot! Hoot Hoot! Where's Hoot Hoot gone? Okay. That's weird. No, 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 Hoot Hoot. Oh, no, okay. I guess we'll find out. Hopefully we'll find her... Hopefully we'll find, yeah, hopefully we'll find her later on. Okay. Anyways, let's go talk to Scotch here, because we have some new stuff on the zoo, hopefully, and we can do some more stuff. All right. Time for things to go back to normal. Today we have free new Pokemon waiting in the truck. Oh, 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 the truck is full. Oh, that is awesome. And we have a new habitat, the Quadradome. What? There's also a weird tree over there. Okay, I got, yeah, I, I saw that too. Anyways, don't forget, we have a public feeding later. Oh yeah, I gotta, I gotta do that, don't I? And you may pick up a toy. Okay, I'm gonna do the toy first, because that's like the most fun part. <laughs> and uh, hopefully Hoodoot will um, eventually show up. Where's Hoodoot? Hoodoot's not here. Oh, okay. We'll, we'll find, Ho hopefully, Hoodoot may have just gone back to explore um, some of the places we visited, but we'll find him, um, or her, sorry, her. So, yeah, in the toy shop, we got a bunch of stuff around. We got the usual. I think the new one is the R2-D2 today. Yes, yes, yes. Which one am I gonna, am I gonna choose, though? Hmm. I quite like the R2-D2 toy, actually. Let me, let me grab that. R2-D2, you're mine, toy shop owner. Thanks for that, man. Let's go. Let us go, R2-D2. Okay. Um, that will go in our office. If there's any space, these these toys take up a surprising amount of space, especially that tiger, because that tiger is huge. But um, yeah, let's we'll, we'll kind of stuff it in there, and we'll be awesome. Okay, 
So, um, R2-D2, where are we gonna put you? We can put you behind the tiger? No, the tiger takes up way too much space. We'll put you right there. Okay, then we got space for, like, one more toy here. That is crazy. Tiger, why are you taking up so much room? We can't put you there? What? Okay, this tiger is crazy. Eh, like that. Okay, um, anyways, guys, let's go. So, now we gotta check out this tree. Hello, tree. Tree, what, do we, did we just climb up this tree? This tree just appeared, like, out of nowhere. I can guarantee you guys it was not here earlier. Ooh, 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 this is a, this is a hard tree to scale up. Okay, come on, we can do it. Oh my god, that is pretty hard. Okay, okay, come on, parkour. Yes, we did it, okay. Let's walk up, I guess. Uh, whoa. What? Alaska? I've never... Is, is this... That's a sigilyph, isn't it? I've, I've seen a sigilyph before, but you're, you're called Alaska for some reason. Who named you? Uh, okay. Well, you have a nice collection of stuff. Let, let's talk to you, Alaska. This is <laughs> kind of weird. Um, Alaska, did, did you make this tree? Hello, Pixel. Wait, how do you know my name? How can you speak? What? Okay, Beldum, do you know what's going on? I don't think you do. Sorry, okay. Um... I came to see uh, seek refuge here at the zoo after having been chased away from my previous home. This tree will not be moved. In exchange for my presence, I shall offer you my knowledge when you are in need of it. So he just lives here now? Do you want to join, join, join the zoo man? No? So I guess he's like the out of the zoo attraction now. Okay. That works. <laughs> well, Alaska, that is... Quite interesting, I guess that kind of works, and uh, I'll come to you if you, I need knowledge, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, let's kind of get down here. Bam, that was a pretty good fall, in my opinion. And, uh, Fampy, okay, where? I, I need to find Hoodoo, but I guess we can kind of do that after we check out the Quadradome. Oh my god, there's an entire new building, guys. Cindy, do you see that? Ah, uh, okay, wait, oh, I am actually in need of a refreshment, a gooseberry shake will do the trick. Thank you, thank you very much, Cindy, you are awesome, okay. Let's put that in there, and yeah, so we got the Quadradome. Ooh. Oh, Pidgey, yeah, don't go in the enclosures, but what is going on here? Okay, so it's like four habitats in one, that is awesome, I guess, can we enter them individually? Can't we? Ooh, there's side doors. Okay. So here we have like a desert habitat with some prickly cacti. And then we have an awesome... Oh my god, that is an awesome painting. Look at that. It's like all the legendary Pokemon. Oh my god, look look at that Kyogre. Oh, Arceus. Oh, okay. And then we have some potatoes here. And then we have four water buckets laid out for Pokemon to eat them. That is very... Or drink from them. That is very, very cool. And these doors are awesome. Okay. And then we have a under construction room over here. That's cool. That's cool. It's not under construction, but I don't see anything fitting in there. So, I don't know. Let's go on the other side and see what's over here. So, here we have a a foresty area. I like it. Okay. Okay. So, we have a, ooh, we have a, like a little bridge there so Pokémon can hang out on there. And then we have a milk bucket, two milk buckets. So, yes, the Pokémon here prefer milk. I like this mini habitat. That is awesome cuz the Pokémon can like Climb up and down, have some fun up here, take a drink, and then come back down and eat some mushrooms and flowers. That is awesome. Okay, Beldum, let's get out of here and let's go to the next habitat. Ooh, hoo, hoo, I love these places. Ooh, we have some, we have a little water spot here. Nice. We got some leaves on the floor. I like it. We got a little palm tree. Then upstairs, we have the top of the tree and we got some honey. I like it. I like it. Okay, so that's the food source of the Pokemon. That is pretty, pretty awesome. Okay, guys. I, I want to meet the new Pokemon. I want to meet the new Pokemon because this place looks awesome and Pokemon are definitely going to enjoy it. I can't wait to get Pokemon set up in the Quadradome and have visitors again. So let's go. Ooh, park. No, no, we can't do parkour. <laughs> wait, wait. I thought I, I thought I saw. Wait, what? Romeo. Romeo and Dumbo. Are they are they fighting? What's, what's going on? Did you guys see that? Okay, well, Dumbo's getting bigger by the second. I don't know what's up with him, but that is very strange. Hopefully, we'll find Hoodoo soon, though. I'm really, really worried. Hoodoo! Hoot Hoot! Ah, uh, Oh, where's Hoodoo? Hmm, <laughs> okay. Well, I guess we'll find her later, but we have some new Pokemon. Okay, okay. Let's talk to the driver to get a little bit 
uh, to, to know about these Pokemon, because we have a lot this time. I don't know what's going on. We have, like, whoa, it's like, it's like 10 Pokemon in there. That is crazy. Okay, let's do a little jump. No, we cannot. <laughs> We're so bad at parkour. Okay, last time we had to, like, place a block when we did this. We, we took a took a wheel off of a car. Okay, we're gonna have to do that again. <laughs> this car is gonna be unstable now. There's a wheel missing. Okay, there we go. Hoppity hop and... What? <laughs> we have a new driver, okay? And he has a Ditto painting. Now that changed. It used to be like a Trico. Okay, anyways, Don, what's up? These Pokemon were supposed to be in my truck, but they magically appeared. What? Really? That's weird. Hmm, okay. Well, anyways... Um, we have a new truck driver that's interesting. I wonder what happened to Batman. I do not know. What was Batman called again? I know he looked like Batman, but I forgot his name. I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not, I don't remember the name. Okay. Anyways, we got some new Pokemon. Ooh, we have some, we have some beautiful looking Sandow. Some really, really odd looking ones, but awesome. Then we have a Turtwig, which, with, um, blue blades. And then we have a Teddy Ursa. I like the Teddy Ursa as well. Okay, so we got a full batch of new Pokemon. Let's... Let's, um, bring the Teddy Ursas. Oh, we need to hire them. I guess there's stuff in here. Ooh, there's some honey spruce. So I guess these are the honey-loving bears that we know. And they say, Teddy! That's so cute. All right, let's hire you. Ursa! Teddy Ursa! All right, um, let's feed him some honey. Let's get him to follow me. And then we can bring him to their habitat. We'll do the Pokemon one by one, just because, you know, it'll be kind of a little bit a lot to handle if we like kind of go if we don't go species by species if you guys know what i mean okay anyways pidgeot you're gonna stay here wait um then beldum no beldum you are gonna wait and then fampy you are gonna wait and you are gonna wait too okay so follow me teddy ursus let's go follow me to victory Oh man this this keystone necklace is really nice i like it oh durability how do we Oh, maybe we fell. Okay. Well, we better not use that up. <laughs> Anyways, so, um, yeah. Ooh, one of the teddy bears is already in the habitat, but the wrong habitat. Guys, don't go in the wrong one. Follow me, follow me. It's right over here. Okay. So this should be fairly easy for them to get into. Teddy bear says, follow me. Why you no want to follow? Where are they going? <laughs> They're, like, all, all the way around the corner. Okay, teddy bear says, number one, we'll bring you upstairs, because upstairs is fancy. And, you, you know, we, we know you're a honey lover, so you gotta, you gotta go upstairs. You gotta go, go upstairs, Teddy Ursa. Ugh, ugh, ugh. The hardest job in the world. Getting a Teddy Ursa to go upstairs. Okay, he's there. He's all good. Where's Teddy Ursa number two? Here he is! Okay, let's go. Where are the other Teddy Ursas, though? <laughs> um, yeah, well, you can stay down here and admire this palm tree right there. Um, then next off, where are the other Teddy Ursas? Where are they? Teddy Ursas? Teddy Ursa! Where are they? What? Did they get stuck? Oh, there's one in the there's one in the vendor here. Okay, there's one here, and there's one with Cindy. Okay, Cindy, I know you love the Teddy Ursa a lot, but you know, oh you're you're talking to each other. Okay. But we gotta bring him to his habitat. You can see him in his habitat, okay? That does that sound fair? Oh no, okay. Hopefully he'll follow us. I don't know. I think he'll follow us. He'll he'll get the idea eventually. Okay. Anyways. Teddy Ursa, oh, I like your walking animation. Let's go, let's go into this room right here, where you can have some fun with your friends, with your furry friends. Okay, let's bring you in here, in here, in here, and you can take a little swim, okay? Or, yeah, you can you can just hover over the water. Bears like walking on water, guys. That That's a new thing that I learned. Okay, uh, let, let's go, come on, why is Teddy Ursa? I know you like Cindy, but we gotta get you in your habitat, okay? Let me destroy this fence quickly. Okay, yes, you're free! Isn't that awesome? Okay, follow me, dude. You you are good to go now. We're gonna have to guide you a bit. Teddy Ursa, come on, dude. You can do it. You can do it. It's not hard. We all believe in you, man. It's not gonna be too hard. Just go on the stair right here, and then go around, and you're good! Now follow me to victory, man. Victory it is. Okay, um, we're gonna bring you upstairs just cuz you like, uh, I don't know, you were hanging out by Cindy You're probably pretty hungry cuz you want our good smoothies I know that you can smell them from a mile away, but still Teddy Ursa I think I think you're gonna enjoy the honey a lot lot more. <laughs> you're smelling already your heads towards it Let's go. Oh my god. You just you just magically walked over there <laughs> Okay, well, they're gonna enjoy their little habitat and we're gonna get them in okay 
Teddy Ursa's are down. Next we have, I guess we can go for the Turtwig. And uh, that, that, that tree's gonna be really weird. It's like, it's so big and you can see it from the whole zoo. Well, people are gonna wonder what it is. Not a tourist attraction though, for sure. I don't think the uh, Sigilyph likes to be spectated or Alaska. Okay, so Iceberg Daisy, I'm guessing the Turtwig will like those. Uh, yes, okay, because they are, I mean, if they have anything to do with the, um, with the, what, when my, uh, the, 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 the Torterra, then they are a little bit icy, um, so, actually, there's a, there's an easier way to do this. If we go all the way around the zoo, like the non-zoo way, then we can get there a lot, lot quicker. Okay, guys, follow me to victory. Oh, man, oh, man, we're almost there. Follow me. Okay, okay, and here we are. Okay, so. Um, Turtwig number one, let's put you on this floor. You can kind of sit in the flowers over here, or you can be in between shrooms and flowers. And then the second one we can bring up to the milk. Um, don't know if he likes milk, but hopefully he will. Turtwig, do you like milk? I don't know. I think Scotch made a little bit of an assumption there. But, um, hopefully you will, Turtwig. Let's go. Let's bring you up the stairs. Uh, uh, okay. You've got the milk, man. You are the milkman now. Okay, let's close this, and let's grab a new set of Pokemon, the Sandow family. Awesome. Okay, so, got a parkour back over here, got to run for the zoo. The zoo's getting so big! I can't wait for it to be ginormous. Oh, man, okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And, and, okay, okay, okay. Where is, oh wait, where, where am I going? We got the Sandow crew, last but not least, and I guess they're gonna like corn. Sandow's like corn, that's like a known fact, everyone. We're just gonna grab these in case we need to use them for the future. Um, okay, so, yeah, I guess they like corn. That is a new thing that I learned today. Uh, Sandile, Sandile, Dial, okay. Um, let's give you some corn as well, and then we'll give you some corn as well. And you guys are all good to go, so follow me, if you would please. Uh, the door's a little bit tight. I know when we go around the zoo, you guys will be awesome, won't you? Won't you? I can... One, two, three. Do we get a fourth one? Yes! We got the Sandow clan! Okay. Okay, guys. It's right around the corner, right here. I can... You guys know it's there. You guys know it is right, right here. Okay, actually, it's all the way around, so... Uh, over here, over here, and then around this corner... Come on, guys. You know it. You know it. And there we have the desert habitat. Watch out. This one's a little bit prickly, but um, I'm sure you guys are used to the desert and will easily manage it. So I want to see if Sandal are going to get hurt by the cacti, because if they are, that is going to be a little bit of a problem. Uh, can you not fit through the door, Sandal? You should be able to. Okay, we're going to have to, like, let them come in. Guys, teleport, please. Guys, <laughs> okay, we might have to expand the door a bit. Ah, but we we aren't gonna get these blocks back, are we? Hmm. Let's let's try. Let's try it one more time. Come on, Sandal. Come on. No, they don't want to go through. Okay. Well, I guess we'll make a temporary little entrance. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> these blocks are gonna have to be replaced in the future. I guess that is okay. Ooh, we got some. We got some wool on the ground, so I mean, we can kind of use that. Well, Sandal, you better be able to get through now. Yes, you can. And are you, do you get hurt by the cacti? No, you don't. You love them. You know you love them. <laughs> okay, so we'll put you in the corner over here with the big cacti, because you know those are even more awesome. Oh, man, you you know you love them. And uh, you guys can go upstairs and have some water and potatoes, because you know you love them. <laughs> okay, ooh, ooh, Sandal, get out of there. That, that's dangerous. Okay, we, we got to get you upstairs, man. Uh, okay, you can be there. I guess you'll be the lucky one to get your potatoes and water first. That will be awesome, won't it? Okay, come on, Sandow. Come on, Sandow. You guys look like bees for some reason. Okay, you're. I guess you're all gonna stay down here for the time being. Awesome, okay. I'm gonna grab two pieces of wool from, like, over here where it doesn't look suspicious or anything. Totally not. No, why is the ground... Is, is this gray wool now? Hmm, the ground, like, changes wool levels. That is weird. Okay. Anyways, let us fix this quickly. Uh, ooh, we need we need to push you in a little bit more. Ooh, okay. There you go, mate. Um, and that's that. It looks pretty shifty, but that's okay. None of the customers are gonna be going around there. So we got the Quadrodome fixed up. 
I think we are good. We're good. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so now that that's done, I guess it is time to debut the feeding scotch. Are you ready? I think you're ready, scotch. I think you are ready. Alrighty, feeding time. Whew. So everyone wanted to see Rudolph getting fed, so I guess that's gonna be what we do. Uh, so yeah, how's it going, guys? Stevie, Caitlin, Carter, Bosky, Jap, Infinity, Vincent, I think you're ready to see Rudolph in action. Okay, so first off, we're gonna feed Rudolph a few violet, uh, violets because, you know, he loves flowers and uh, that'll get him a little bit motivated. So here you go. He kind of takes a while to eat them, you know, um, he, he, he just is pretty slow. And then once he's eaten them, once he has eaten a few, we may be able to ride him. Okay, so um, yeah, mount, let's go. Uh, player mount, and then we'll be able to ride Rudolph. How awesome is that, everyone? So sometimes he moves around. He's a little bit stubborn, so he does he does like to be in control, which he currently is. But yeah, it's pretty awesome that you get to see a live Standler. And this is not just any Standler. This is a specially bred Standler. Um, we still need to find a partner for it, but it is a very very stush. Oh, look at it! He's moving. Okay. Uh, he's a little bit slow, guys. Do not worry. We'll, we'll drop a few more violets for him. Dude, you love violets. Come on. Oh, yes! Look at that. The violet plower is working. Okay, let's try to get him to move one more time. And then we'll go on to the next feeding. So, Stadler, come on. You can do it, man. Rudolph, I believe in you. Come on. You're the red-nosed reindeer. You can do it, man. We fed you, like, a bunch of these. Okay. Well, I guess Rudolph is a little bit worn out for the day. That is okay. He's not used to so many people watching him. But that's what, oh look, he's he's moving in circles now. Anyways, so yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy that. What? Whoa, 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 whoa! Who said that? What's going on? Did did you say that? What? Wait, what's going on? He, D Dumbo? Uh, Dumbo! Ha! Ah! You evolved! Oh, oh, oh god, oh god. Uh, 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 what's going on there? What's going on? Uh, uh, Dumbo, Dumbo, what are you doing? Dumbo, what do you do? What do you do with Romeo and Juliet? <gasps> Romeo! Juliet! Oh no, oh no, Dumbo. Dumbo, what is he doing? How did he get them in there? With Dumbo! What? Why would he do that? Okay, I, who, who can I. Who, how can we resolve this? Sigilif! Sigilif! Okay, um, he said that when we're in need, he'll give us some knowledge. Sigilif. Okay, yeah, this is like the moment in which I'm most in need. I need your help, man. If, if not, we can try using some of our Pokemon. Um, maybe Mega Pidgeot will be able to blow him away. Quite literally. Okay. Uh, Sigilif, Sigilif. Do you know anything? Sigilif? <laughs> okay, Alaska. I should be calling you Alaska. Um, so, yeah, at the zoo, one of our Don fan, Dumbo, evolved, and he trapped Romeo and Juliet, who are too fampy, in a hole, and he's been acting up really weirdly recently and Romeo and Julia are like trying to, are kind of in love so to speak and then he's kind of left alone do you know what's going on I have no idea hmm it seems it is jealous of Romeo and the other Pokemon try giving it the rose under me it may cheer it up that is actually some pretty good advice Alaska thank you okay so this is a oh no I destroyed the vines uh oh uh oh well we got the garnet rose uh we're kind of stuck though uh oh well Sigilif, um, how are we gonna get up? Mm, no, oh no. I'm sorry, I broke, I broke your tree, uh, place. I, I guess we'll, uh, I, I, I've got, an, I've got an idea. Okay, we'll grab a piece of wood, and then we'll turn it into some wood planks. That always works. Okay, there you go. And we'll break these, and then we're, we're good, aren't we? Aren't we? Wait, what? Uh oh, uh oh, oh no, 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 I'm so sorry. Okay, well, we'll fix your place up later. I'll make sure some zoo funds go into fixing this. I'm really, really sorry, man. This is this is an emergency. He might actually really, really hurt Romeo or Ju Juliet. I know he doesn't mean to. I know Dumbbell's a good guy, but the jealousy might get the better of him. Oh, did our thing... Oh, we gotta make sure that doesn't get hurt. Okay, I've got the rose. Okay, okay. Dumbo, Dumbo. Um, what's... Man, man, you, you gotta accept my rose. I, I know... I know I haven't been paying enough attention to you, man. Look at me, look at me. I'm sorry. You look so awesome now. You evolved. We'll make your habitat a lot bigger. We'll give you new stuff. 
don't worry, we won't, you, and Romeo and Juliet, they can remain together if they want. We'll find you another Fampy to hang out with. It'll be even cooler than Romeo and Juliet. So please, Dumbo, would you accept this rose and help me get them out? Is that a is that a yes? You're you're not attacking me. So I guess it is. Well, I'll place this rose in your honor and um we'll place it right here, right right in this corner. And like the most, yeah, that, that's a really special, look at that. That is your rose, Dumbo. Not Romeo's, not Juliet's, but that is your rose. Oh, okay. Whew. Um, now, how are we gonna get these guys out? Yeah, uh, do, do you know how? Uh, I guess not. Well, I mean, we could try to maybe, like, break this block here and try to push them up. Or should we not? I don't know. Uh, well, well, we'll get them out of there. Don't worry. Okay, Scotch, I need a little help. Whew, we finally did it. We got it. Ah, oh, Romeo, Juliet, you guys, you guys are free. <laughs> so yeah, we had Scotch calling the architects and everything is fixed up now. And Dumbo is a lot happier now with this newly found rose. Okay, I am definitely going to go to Sigilet for advice in the future. He is awesome. Anyways, that was quite the day. Everyone's gone from the zoo now. Hopefully we'll have a better public feeding tomorrow. You did awesome, Rudolph. And tomorrow we'll have... We'll, we'll get to you, Squirtles. We'll get to the Cub Chews. And we shall get to the Hoodoot, the Amolga, and of course, the Lions. Ooh, is Amethyst actually back? Amethyst? Amethyst? Oh, Amethyst! You're back! Okay! So, that's cool. I think we're good then. Uh, anyways, it is... Fairly, fairly late, so I'm just gonna head out into our um, little van. And who is missing? We're gonna need to solve that. Um, and we need to take care of the new Pokemon. They're gonna need some nicknames. Anyways, so yeah, um, I guess I'll go to sleep. And uh, hope you guys did enjoy this episode of Pixmon Zoo. And I'll see you guys all next time. Bye.